Well, more to come on News Channel 7 at 6 continues. A bit later, we'll have the latest on major changes in the basketball program at one local school. But first, have you ever picked up a paintbrush only to realize you're no Michelangelo? Coming up next, we'll introduce you to a couple of guys who create masterpieces in a minute and make it all look like a breeze. You're watching Art in an Instant. Now, if you think that's impossible, you've never met Wes Dial. He's a Bay County airbrush artist who leaves his customers wondering, how does he do that? News Channel 7's Dana Gundy paid him a visit to find out. Welcome to Stan's Airbrush Shop. Stan's the one with a steady hand. You'll meet him a little later. But first, let me introduce you to Wes, who will shed a little light on the mystery behind airbrush art. I always start out with a stencil that I drew out and uh, used a compass and measured out and basically cut it with a little exacto knife. And there are plenty to choose from. Wall-to-wall -wall designs all carefully drawn to the customer's specifications. Airbrushing is a... Uh, a means of applying paint with using air instead of a paintbrush. You're using a, a similar to a spray gun that we would paint a car with, only it's a miniature version. And uh, it's got like a siphon feed mechanism inside. The air comes up through the line, which is fed by a compressor, and it comes up and it draws paint out through here. For pros like Wes, step two takes a mere minute or two. He credits his quick creations to his high-tech tools. I guess because it's so versatile, you know, there's so many things you can paint on and um, it's, uh, you can get a lot of neat effects and a lot of blending and um, it's just an easier way and it's a, it's a lot faster to apply uh, this way than as to a paintbrush or a butter knife or <laughs> whatever you use. And it's also a real crowd pleaser. Sometimes you just got to get creative because we work a lot of long hours. As the music fades into the background, Stan and his steady hand take over. And I work, work the paint in, get it about the right thickness, and work my brush, and try to keep my nerves down. <laughs> and in less than 30 minutes, your masterpiece is complete. Thousands of people make their way through this airbrush shop every year. And although a lot of it is the artwork, you just can't beat the sideshow. Hello. It's an art lover's haven. After all, you can find something for Matt, something for your cat, oops, wrong shot there, something for your honey, a lot of stuff for a little bit of money. But most of all, you'll find two talented artists trying to draw a little more attention to their unique trade. And that's how they do that. In Panama City Beach, Dana Gundy, News Channel 7. Stan and Wes say they can airbrush just about anything you want on anything you want. All they need is a pattern in about half an hour. It looks like they have a lot of fun it doing does. that, too. Well, coming up in sports, we'll check in live again from the summer games. And Scott will tell us about some very 